That Saturday night showdown in the House over the health care reform bill. Speaker Nancy Pelosi gaveled down that bill about 11.15 p.m., passing it by the skin of its teeth. ABC's Rachel Martin was up late watching and joins us now from Capitol Hill with details. Hey, Rachel. Good morning, Bill. That vote came after hours of emotional debate. In the end, it was a very long night and ultimately a very close vote. The number was 218. Democrats beat it by two votes. The yeas are 220, the nays are 215. The bill is passed. But it didn't happen without a struggle. Republicans fought tooth and nail to kill the bill. This is the most unconstitutional thing I've ever seen in my life. The idea that we can tell Americans, force Americans, by some law that they have to buy health insurance or we're going to fine you and send you to jail. Pulling out all the stops. She doesn't want her mom's taxes to go up by $730, $730 billion, do you, Maddie? President Obama went to Capitol Hill yesterday to make a last personal push for the bill and repeated his message later in the Rose Garden. This is our moment to live up to the trust that the American people have placed in us. This is our moment to deliver. But what helped deliver the votes in the end was an amendment passed by Democrats and Republicans that tightens abortion funding laws. Democratic Congressman Bart Stupak sponsored the bill. We should not be having public funds or federal funds to help pay for abortion. That amendment paved the way for dozens of pro-life Democratic votes for the health care bill. And one Republican, Joseph Gao, who represents a largely Democratic district in Louisiana. In the end, it was a numbers game that Democrats narrowly won. But perhaps the most politically important equation of the night was this one. The Democrats voted for the bill and a Republican voted for a bill. That equals bipartisan. The president released a statement last night praising the vote and now urging the Senate to follow suit so he can sign a final piece of legislation by the end of this year. But Senate Majority Harry, Harry Reid has said he will not be bound by timetables, which means, Kate, we, we could see the health care debate push over into 2010.